Okay, what we have here is a bad looking headset, and I think in some ways this sort of leads to like a lack of communication. And that was what was going on a lot in the Browns game, a lack of communication. In fact, really, you don't even need to have had been on the headsets. For example, the first play of the game when the Browns got the ball, if you remember, I'm kind of taking this off because it's annoying. Browns head coach Hugh Jackson said, jo Josh Gordon will not start the game. He said it like several times for almost three weeks. Gordon's not starting. Gordon's not starting. Gordon's not starting. That's three times. I'm sure he said it more. So we look out when the Browns take the field for their first snap, and there's Josh Gordon on the field. In fact, it was Josh Gordon and three tight ends, which is a kind of a strange formation. Clearly, Todd Haley's headset was broken, or he failed to get the message or whatever from his head coach. And you could tell that Jackson wasn't thrilled about this. Now, I'm hoping this is just kind of a snafu here that maybe happens in the heat of the moment. But you almost wonder a little bit about this because the first play of the game is going to be run a certain way. It's not like you react to the opponent. You tend to, it's called script the first 10 or 12 plays of the game. These are the ones we're going to run, then after that we'll see how they work. So, first of all, so you had Gordon out there, and he shouldn't have been, and that be game sort of a weird issue. Another thing where the lack of communication, this time it wasn't so much with headsets, it was just the players themselves playing, was on the offensive line. And I hold the coaching uh, staff responsible for some of this too because it was their idea to start Desmond Harrison at left tackle. So when the Browns opened the game, you had Desmond Harrison at left tackle, Joel Batonio at left guard, J.C. Treader at center, the right, right guard was Kevin Zeitler, right tackle, Chris Hubbard. That unit of five did not take one single snap in the preseason together. Now, they supposedly practiced together, but they didn't take one snap together. Sometimes on the defensive line, it's not that important, the continuity, but it is on the offensive line. And I think that's part of the reason the Browns had trouble with the rush from the Pittsburgh Steelers was that these guys were not playing together and they didn't play together because they didn't practice together and they didn't practice together because they spent all this time trying to figure out who's going to play left tackle and with about a week before the regular seasons to open they settled on Desmond Harrison. This could have been done weeks earlier and it would have helped. Again, I don't know where the breakdown was in the coaching or whatnot on the decision making, but it was a factor. It's not the only factor. Tyrod Taylor didn't help himself by holding the ball too long, and I'm going to do a different video on Tyrod's performance. Obviously, it was not very good. But the, the offensive line had problems, including four false starts and an illegal formation. A lot of that, again, is playing together communication. You know, this problem here. Of course, you could also see a lack of communication between Tyrod Taylor and his receivers. They didn't seem to know where Taylor was going with the ball. He didn't seem to know where they were going. And I'm going to go one, back to it once again. In the preseason, Tyrod Taylor didn't play that often because coaches are always fearful of uh, him being hurt, the quarterback getting hurt, or your starters getting hurt. Of course, Josh Gordon didn't play in any preseason games because he was out. And so I was fearful going into the game that the Browns would look a mess on offense because they kind of looked disjointed and clunky during the preseason, and that's what we saw. All right, but now the one that really had me hit myself over the head, special teams. Special teams. Nothing about, boy, you could get a headache doing that. But I have to admit, watching the Browns special teams gives me a headache. They had not one, not two, but they had three penalties on special teams. They had a punt that was shanked off the side of Britton Colcutt's foot. That went for like 29 yards. And it ended with a blocked field goal. Zane Gonzalez there, somebody blew a blocking assignment, whatever it was. The field goal got blocked, the chance for the Browns to win. You know, you look at it and you say, hey, the Browns defense turned Ben Roethlisberger and the Steelers over six times, six. And the Browns only made one turnover. They had a plus five. They're, uh, 
basically it gets into, there's been something like 138 games since 1999 where a team had a plus five in turnovers or more. Out of those 138 games, the team only lost four of those games and tied one. So in other words, there's five total games where, where you're plus five or more in turnovers, you fail to win. The Browns have two of those losses and the only tie. So there you go. How about that? I mean, I have to admit, that was one of those things, you, again, you start hitting your head. And I will say this. We talked about offense problems on offense. Reasonable special team play, they probably won that game. Now, the good side, the defense, forcing the turnovers. I um, thought Miles Garrett was terrific. Denzel Ward, two interceptions. Yeah, they had some breakdowns there, too, but... That was a unit where really the communication, the continuity was a lot better, partly because it was the second season with, offensive, with defensive coordinator Greg Williams and these guys have played together longer. So there's a lot of hope. When you are able to do that to Ben Roethlisberger and the Steelers, cause that many turnovers, force Ben Roethlisberger to look rattled at times, that's a very good sign for the Browns. So the defense, we're going to give them a B plus. The offense, we're going to give them a D plus. And the special teams, we're going to give them a D-minus.